What's up guys? This is the Awesome Nerd Show back again playing on Ark Survival Evolved and we're here um back on the regular uh island map. So on the you know the original layout or whatever in the new Redwood Forest biome here on our tree platform that we started to build last time to do like the whole uh Ewok village type thing. Um but besides like actually putting stuff on the platforms here uh, there's not much more we can do because um, I like want to put platforms, you know, on close or on some of these trees and stuff, and then connect them. But as of right now, there is no way um, to do that currently. So um, I've been trying to like think of other stuff to do. Um, so it looks like there's nothing really useful in there. But I did start building uh, some other stuff and laid out some things of another build I want to do while we're here in the forest. <clears throat> um, and as we start, you'll probably um, see or realize what it is. Of course, I'll let you know as well. But got to come down in here and I made a bunch of uh, metal materials. Um, so we'll grab as much stuff as we can carry. I don't know how much um stuff the quetzal can hold it looks like it may be able to hold everything but we'll take whatever we can and um, come back for the rest um we'll take the ceilings and the walls um but yeah i want to do this build completely out of metal and as i said once you uh, see what it is you'll probably understand why i think that's it see and he's not um, overburdened yet but he is close but um, hopefully we should still be good um, so let me shut the door real quick and then we'll fly over to the spot um, so now I uh, just flew around this whole um, redwood forest uh, biome area trying to find what would be the flattest and largest uh, piece of land because this will kind of be a large build because of uh, um, there's a quetzal in here um, because of the building possibilities I guess in um, the art game so far nothing's perfect and building an arc is super hard to do um, but we're gonna fly over here um, hopefully it won't take too long I think because the Quetzal's um, pretty heavy, it's not moving nearly as fast, but it's not too far away. Um, and if at any time I like get in my inventory or anything, and it's uh, um, is way too bright or anything, uh, forgive me for that. It's just um, being in the redwood forest is really dark, so I have to turn um, the gamma pretty much all the way up to be able to see really well. And I know especially with a lot of dangerous dinos around, like terror birds everywhere, that uh, um, I need to be able to see as much as I can so I don't die and stuff. But it's somewhere around over here. Now we have to be really careful because there are a lot of dangerous things um, in the area. Like I just killed an alpha T-Rex over here yesterday. Let me see if I can find it. I laid foundations down, hopefully to kind of keep, here it is, to kind of try and keep stuff from spawning in. Looks like we have a bear right here, so I may want to kill that first. I know I really want a bear. Um, as you may have seen um, on the center map levels I've played, can't find a bear. Um, I've had a bear walking around outside my base and stuff and I've tried to tame one but it did not work out I ended up killing it but uh, I'm hoping to find a high level one or something there we go we got a bear so we have a diplodocus kiss there which shouldn't hopefully do anything besides push us the moose won't bother us what is that a stego just gotta try and find um, anything that would possibly kill us. There's a Carno, kind of close. Let me try and kill this real quick. 
of those are dead now. Hopefully we should be good for a while. Bunch of Gallimimuses running around. A oh, bunch of terror birds. These terror birds I've never, I've only seen them a couple times while playing and stuff but um, when I was doing this, putting these foundations down they just kept running up on me all the time and like I said I never messed with them really before but they are super I guess super strong and dangerous and everything because they just love to mess around. Oh, oh that's an overact I thought was a dillo. Um, you doing okay? So let's grab some of these foundations. Obviously I can't carry all that. So come over here and start putting some foundations down. What the heck? Um, I'm trying to remember how much I think I want because I'm going to put a dino door on the front so I want I thought I decided like eight across and then um, it's going to be bigger than that but it's eight's the starting point I'm looking for so it looks like we have So it looks like we're almost. Let's go ahead and put one there and one there. Watch out, Megalus arrows. There we go. One, two, three, four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's right because I wanted uh, pretty much the two centers and then I think four on each side. One, two, three, four, ah, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. Um, dang it. Um, then we'll start placing these down. I don't know exactly how wide I want it, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, that's cool, a giganto. Let's see, what is this? One, two, three, four, maybe? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like we'll try maybe one more. Six. Yeah, that should be big enough. Maybe. I don't know if I want to do an odd number or not. Um, yeah, we'll just go with six for now. Three. So we'll go down here and start. So that way I don't overbuild or anything. Now this is probably not going to turn out or looking like what I wanted to at all. But I'm just going to try my best without what Ark provides to build with. Um, so we'll just now fill in this and then I'll have to figure out uh, the um, amount we need. Dang, these deer things are everywhere. Oh, I'm out of foundations. Looks like I may need some more foundation. I wasn't exactly sure how many I would need. So I just uh, think I build around 50. Yeah, it looks like I'm definitely going to need more. So we'll just go through and fill in the spots here. And then possibly put up walls. Oh, that was weird. Shot my foundation. Oh, we only got five more. 
I really under- dang it. I'm gonna waste all my bullets. Maybe I should get rid of the gun. It's kind of holding in case, you know, stuff would come up on me. I do need a lot more. Uh, I was hoping that would be enough, but oh well, we'll just go ahead. Oh, got some lag going on. Go ahead and grab some of the walls now. Then we'll put some walls up here. Now I'm kind of hoping I don't mess this up because I know building with walls are kind of tricky. But I think I want to do four high because of the dino door. I'll have to look at other base because I have the dino door on there, but I want to say that's what I want. The wrong button. I should be four, lead two. I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong button. There we go, and that's got our four. Okay. Let me see here. I may end up building this out one more maybe. Yeah, because I think the inside's a good um, amount. So I don't want to go too far. Let me look here. Hmm. I think I'll just put these walls up. I need them down here more. Probably build this stuff so then I'll need what? One, two, three, four. So four more foundations on each side. It's gonna be a really big build. Um, so I don't want walls here. Then we'll put all these along the back here. Hopefully along the way here I don't mess uh, anything up. Because, you know, sometimes you don't get stuff lined up. It's um, really messed up and everything. I think there goes that gun again. We'll go ahead and build up here, or do that on the other side too. There we go. I don't know, because with the size of the thing, I think it should technically be taller, because it's going to look really weird, but... Um, I may, yeah, have to go a bit taller just to make this look right. Hit it once again. Probably gonna do this multiple times. Let's see. So I can't go any taller than that right now. I know that at least that's as big as the door of a door that I want. Let's see. Probably have to tear some of this stuff down. Because I don't think it's going to turn out how I want it to. No Diplodocus, get out of my base. Let's go ahead and put these walls here. Let's see if we do 
get on the Quetzal here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go one higher here and maybe do something a little different. Oh, uh, looks like the bear killed the T-Rex. That's kind of cool. Um, so it got really dark. Let me see if I can turn up the gamma anymore. So it looks like that's probably about as bright as I can go. Um, let's get off the Quetzal here. Keep this last wall for a second. Walk over here. There's a bear there too. Okay. So let's see. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go get some more foundations um, at the other base. So I'll go get those and then uh, I'll be right back and we'll continue building in this new base. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we'll come back over here. Um, get off, I think, yeah, I have the foundations on me. Go ahead and finish this off real quick. If I can get it placed here. It's so dark. I need to get some sort of lights in here. Okay, and so what I think, I may have to extend it more, but I think what I decided is that it needs to come out three more, like that, on both sides. <clears throat> yeah, I think, oops. That's a waste of foundation. So we got the three on that side. Oh, hope that bear doesn't get any closer. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Get all of these placed down. So I'm not exactly sure this may be a longer video unless I can um, edit some stuff down. So if it seems like stuff is missing, that's probably what has happened that I've um, shortened it down or something. Um, so I've never really done a big base video yet, so I don't know exactly how to do this sort of stuff. Um, but I think to help keep the, the time shorter, what is that? Oh, is that just a rock? It looks like a T-Rex head, like was turned to the side. I'm seeing things now. Um, but we'll come over here. I'll place one side and then I'll probably just uh, break away and finish building it, bring you back when it's done to show you what I built. And so maybe while I'm doing it, um, you may start to see what I am building. So I think that's it. Like that maybe. And then I'll get the slopes that I made, which I don't know if I have enough. We'll go ahead and get rid of that gun in there. Put the slopes in here. Oh, now I'm going to wait. 
Put the metal walls back. There we go. So let's see if I. So four. Here we go. And then this top one will need to be one as well. And so I'm pretty much just gonna uh, make it arch like this across there. So I think I'll finish uh, building this, um, try and figure out what I'm gonna do and get it built and everything, and then I'll uh, bring it back when I'm done. So I will see you then. Okay guys, and we're back. Um, so I'm getting ready to place the last um, few pieces on the base finally um and so as it'll probably start lagging here as it renders in and stuff i'm just gonna land up up on the top here real quick and then come down over here and place the last few pieces here i don't like these roof things they're really hard to place I do, um, like in doing this, I've never, you know, pl really played with the slope roofs and everything, but I don't like it because they have this, like, lip thing that sticks over, so on each level you can see it, and then up on the top here on both sides it has this, like, um, corner, or like, piece that sticks out over the edge that I don't like very much, but I've not been able to get it fixed, so we'll fly around here, and then we'll do the reveal, and as I said, some of you will probably already guess what it is, but here we go it's the best I can do and it is if you don't know this is supposed to look like the um, bunker uh, from Star Wars on the indoor so the empires like bunker thing that the rebels are trying to break into like Han Solo and everything um, like I said it doesn't look exactly like it because um, we don't have you know building stuff that looks exactly but it's obviously just a simple shape like this and then there's the doors in the front um, here and then obviously they when they like go into the base there's a lot more than just this big empty room and stuff um, but we obviously there's no like sliding doors or whatever so I had to just put a dino door in because a normal just regular human door is too small so this is the next size up and then it's like if you remember from the movie over here would be like the little activation panel or whatever that R2 they have R2 get into and stuff to open the door and then Han and Leia um, are here and stuff where Leia gets shot and everything so it'd be cool to have a an ATST walker just standing right there pointing at me um, but as I said obviously it just looks like a plain simple oh no I'm starving I forgot to get food while I was out uh, oh no what can we eat here use all this There we go, I'm drop that. So that should get me hopefully through the um, rest of the video. Like I said, it's nothing big or major. It's a pretty simple base, but I was just trying to figure out what worked um, best. But obviously, like I messed up the thing um, that I showed you before. Like this was the um, outside wall. Uh, but then I realized I wanted to do this like um, exterior part like that sticks out. So I had to put this wall in. And then uh, bring it out so if you can see in here which I don't know how well you can see with it being dark and everything but like I said my game right now is turned all the way up I think so it can't get any brighter than that but so we have this like little alcove area type thing um, but yeah like I said it's nothing major or spectacular um, let's do one less fly around here but it's just um, I thought about it the other day that it'd be fun to throw that in the um, biome here. Now it would have been nicer to have it against like a rock background or something, you know, because in the movie it's up against like up against like what would be a hill or something. So like any of these hills, but with the way arc builds and stuff, you wouldn't be able to do that. So I had to do it in this big open area. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't remember exactly how big I made it. Let's see, it looks maybe about 8 to 10, uh, 10 maybe wide here, like on this top section, and then it just sloped all the way down to the ground. So if you want to build one yourself, obviously that's um, how you do it. The width is um, however you feel, because like I said, the only part that really matters is the front. So this could only be, this could be like a just 
two wide, one wide. I guess two wide would have to be at most to get that front look all the way up to, you know, however far you want to build out. Um, but I'm probably not really going to use this base, so I just used it, um, did a size that I felt looked comfortable and stuff. But yeah, like I said, it's nothing major or fancy, but it's just a um, little cool. And I can possibly go through with, like, looking at the base, like, on, um, Google or something like that and maybe add some stuff on top or whatever to give it some more detail and everything but obviously there's not much arc stuff you can do um, but hopefully um, th that uh, this you know to you out there watching stuff I hope this looks cool and you know can inspire you to do um, some cool stuff too like I said having this um, biome and everything just makes me uh, want to have an Ewok village so much it'd be cool if you could have you know have the bears like put a costume on them to make them look like Ewoks or something and walk around on your village once they release the rest of the stuff but um I guess that's gonna be um it for um our episode today hopefully like I said I don't know if it's gonna be um too super long or anything um but I'll see if there's any parts of um ted it down and stuff to maybe shorten it and everything but this is our new uh indoor bunker base um leave a like if you enjoyed seeing this um base added into the arc world um leave any comments you have for me of anything i could add to make it look better um subscribe for more gaming videos and arc videos and unboxings and everything um and that's going to be it please um subscribe also again um to, like i said to catch out our catch our other videos and hopefully I can come up with maybe more Star Wars or something that would fit in here um, to add in. But I think that's going to be it for today. Um, um, thank you for watching our videos and we'll see you next time. Oh